Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. You bought Microsoft Office license and now you are looking to download and install Microsoft Office to your macOS. Let me show you how you can do that. So for that, first of all, I would require you to log in to your Microsoft account. And to do that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open Microsoft.com. Now, after we open Microsoft.com, all we need to do is we need to click here on account and then we need to sign in. After you successfully signed in, click again here and click on my Microsoft account. Now click on subscription. Then here you need to look for the kind of license you have. So if you see my screen, I do have two different variant of Microsoft Office license available. One is Microsoft 365 personal. Another one is perpetual version. So based on my requirement, I can go for any of these. And honestly, it really doesn't matter which setup you download. It is all about licensing that we can always change even after installing, let's say Microsoft 365 or even 2021. What that mean is, let's say right now, if I click here on install and I download and install Microsoft Office 2021 during office activation, if I select Microsoft 365, I'm going to get Microsoft 365 features. So it really doesn't matter. So for this particular instance, I'm going to install Microsoft 365 personal. So let's click here on this link and then click on install. For those who are wondering, they do not see these options available. Then probably you need to get a license first. And there is a free variant also available. So if you want to have office for completely free, then do check out the video that I already have added in the description of this video. Or if you want to go with enhanced feature version where you can also install Microsoft Office offline, then check out another video where I have showcased how one can buy Office at lower price. Now here you can see not only I can install it, but I can also see it in how many devices I have installed this Office. And so far I can see it installed in three devices. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on install and then again click on install. So what this will do is this will download this office installer. So all we need to do is we need to wait as the installation file size is around 2.7 gigabyte. So I would say it will totally depend on what kind of plan you have or what kind of internet speed you have. So we will wait for this package to get downloaded. And finally here we can see we have successfully downloaded it. Now let me make a double click on it and this will start our office installer. So let's click here on continue, accept licensing, and then here you need to select your destination. If you want to install it in default location, keep it as it is or else click on install in specific device. Now I'm gonna go as it is, so let's click on continue. Now finally we need to click on install. Now enter your password and hit install software. Now finally here we can see we have successfully not only downloaded but installed Microsoft Office in Macintosh. Now let me open Microsoft apps like Word, Excel and PowerPoint. And there we go. So all here I need to do is I need to sign in with my Office account. So for that let me click here on my account. Now we need to activate our Office. For that let's go down here and click on activate and then click on already bought office sign in. Now I'm going to enter my same Microsoft ID that we used in checking my license and click on next. Now here you can see it says that you are all set and you are good to go. So in this way guys we have successfully activated Microsoft Office in our Macintosh. Now let me click on start using word and let's click on blank document. So again, I would say I still need to verify which license I have activated. To see your license detail, click on Word and then about Microsoft Word. And there we go. So here I can see my licensing information. So that's how guys one can confirm what kind of license we have installed. So that's how guys we have successfully downloaded, installed and activated Microsoft Office 365 in Macintosh. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Office to Technoholic to see more such content related to Office productivity. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.